Okay, hello my dear students. Thank you so much for being with Teacher Guapo all the time. And today we will learn new things. You will learn how to read pictograms. And then I will teach you how to make or draw pictograms in this lesson. So today we will be learning about data analysis, okay, and a pictograms. So we'll try to read this time. Okay, you ready? Let's start. Okay, here we go, data analysis and presentation. So these are the things that we are going to learn this time. So data analysis and presentation. Once again, my name is Teacher Guapo and I'm your math teacher here in grade three slash, uh, three slash four, three slash five and three slash six or STP class. So data analysis and presentation. So you can find it on page 200 in your textbook. So if you have your book with you, uh, mathematics for a smart plus mathematics for grade three, you can open your book on page 200. Page 200, data analysis and presentation. Now in this chapter, our goal here is you must know how to read data from pictographs, okay? You must know how to read data from pictographs. So when you were in grade two, you learned this already how to read pictographs. So we will just a short review about this one. And then you must know how to collect data about pupils and their environment or surroundings in daily life and then classify the collected data. And the last one, you must know how to read data from bar graphs here. Okay, now here we go. Data analysis and presentation. Now you will see this one in your book. It says here, how do some try and some find out the number of, okay? How they will find out the number of classmates who like chocolate ice cream? I think everybody likes to eat chocolate ice cream, right? So some choices, we can ask them one by one. They will ask their classmate one by one. But uh, his friend, his friend named Sam, his friend named Sam, he said, there are too many of them. I think it is better to give them a survey forms. So instead of asking one by one, they will just give a form. Okay. Do you like uh, chocolate ice cream? Do you like strawberry ice cream? Do you like green tea ice cream? Something like that. So here they give the form. Okay. This is for you. This is for you. So if you like strawberry, tick in a strawberry. If you like chocolate, tick in chocolate. If you like green tea ice cream, take green tea ice cream, okay? And then, or mango ice cream, just take mango ice cream. After that, after giving the form, and then after the classmate uh, check, can you see it here? Sally likes, what flavor of ice cream is this? It is strawberry ice cream, right? Strawberry ice cream. So Sally takes strawberry ice cream. And then Jay's take, Chocolate ice cream. Now there are 38 pupils in their class. And then uh, some chai said, we need to collect 38 forms. And then Sam says, after we will collect, we need to organize so that we will know the, the, the result of the data. <clears throat> how many pupils or how many students like strawberry? How many students like chocolate ice cream? how many students like uh, mango ice cream, right? Now you can see here, <clears throat> they put here the, the uh, I, I mean, uh, some read, <clears throat> sorry, some read the student, okay, Sally likes strawberry ice cream. And then some try, right? Okay, one, uh, Jay's like, Chocolate ice cream, uh, two. So strawberry ice cream, one. Chocolate ice cream, one, okay? Now, <clears throat> after reading, after uh, Sam and Sam and uh, Som Chai organized the, the data, uh, after they organized, 
define out the number of students who likes to eat strawberry ice cream. How many students like chocolate uh, strawberry ice cream? So you can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, is it 10? Uh, no, only nine. <laughs> nine students or pupils like strawberry. How about in green tea ice cream? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Green tea ice cream, ten. How about in chocolate ice cream? So here, five, five, and three, that is 13. How about mango ice cream? Five plus one is six. Now they found out, okay? They found out that <clears throat> the number of pupils who like strawberry ice cream. Okay, Rita, hello Rita. How many pupils like strawberry ice cream? Nine. Nine, very good. Uh, how about your friend? Can you unmute your microphone? How many students like green tea ice cream? Green tea ice cream, how many pupils? How many students? Can you count? Anyone from the class? <clears throat> uh, Rita again, Rita, Rita. Oh, green tea ten. ice cream. Okay, 10, you can see it here, 10, right? How about chocolate ice cream? Tonam. Chocolate ice cream. How many students like chocolate 13. ice cream? Again, please. 13. Okay, 13. Sip some. 13. And in mango ice cream, how many pupils like mango ice cream? Six. How many students? Okay, six pupils or students like mango ice cream. Now here, you can see this one on page 202 in your book. Page 202. Song Loi Song. 202, okay? Page 202. It says here, Aaron, the name of the boy, Aaron wants to know the favorite sports of the pupils of class. 3A, okay, Pratom 3A. Now, he asked all the pupils of class 3A to pin their names under their favorite sport on the class. Now, this board. So, this is the board. This one, if you like swimming, write your name here. If you like badminton, write your name here. If you like football, you write your name here. If you like ping pong, just write your name here. Now you can see here that Sak, Suda, Mali, Sori, Supa, Mana, Mani, Kanda, Deji, Piti, and Nat like swimming. And here, Niran and Siri likes badminton. Chalurm, Khan, Niti, Sanit, Wicha, Aik likes football. And Soksan, Nida, Prasad, Mali, Sunny, Sakda, Prida likes ping pong, right? Now, how many pupils like swimming here? How many pupils like swimming? So we will count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, eleven students like swimming. How about badminton? Uh, badminton. How many pupils likes badminton? Uh, Rita again. Rita is raising her hand. Uh, Rita, 12. how many pupils? 12. Oh, 12, right? 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, Very good. How about uh, football? How many pupils like football? How many pupils? Anyone from the class? How many pupils like football? Again? 
Con nào? Six. Six. Football. You can see here the ball. So one, two, three, four, five, six. How about ping pong? Ping pong. How many pupils like ping pong? Seven. Ah, seven pupils like ping pong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good. Now here, let us answer this one. Swimming, 11. Okay, 11. Uh, badminton, 12. Badminton, 12. Uh, football, 6. Uh, very good. Football, 6. Ping pong, 7. Wow, very good. Now here, letter A. Let us answer letter A. Which is the most popular sport? Popular, when you say popular, many students like this sport. What sport here that has a lot of uh, students? Swimming, badminton, football, or ping pong? Most popular. It's, what's the answer? Badminton. Ah, badminton. So we will write here, badminton. Very good. Many pupils like badminton. This is the most popular sport. Maybe Om likes badminton. Do you play badminton? <laughs> okay, maybe some of you likes to play badminton. Now, how many pupils are there in class 3A? How many pupils are there? So we will add this one. We will plus 11 plus 12 plus 6 plus 7. That is the answer here. Now we will know the number of pupils. Just add plus 11 plus 12 plus 6 plus 7. Is equals to uh, what's your answer? What is your answer here? 46. Okay, 36 pupils. Very good, Alizara. Good job. Very good girl. Now the answer in letter B is there are 36 pupils in class 3A. Oh, very good. Okay, everybody. Pencil is up if you are finished. Okay, now 204. It is about reading and drawing pictograms. Okay, so you will draw and then you will read the pictograms. So you have learned this one already when you were in grade two. Like one apple uh, is equals to five apples, something like that. Okay, now here you can see it here. In here that one picture, okay, one picture of a boy, it is equivalent or represents to 20 boys, okay? Here, you can see here, each picture, can you see it here at the bottom? So each picture represents 20 boys. So here in, in January, how many pictures are here? Five, right? So this is 20. And then another 20, another 20, another 20, another 20, right? Now, how many boys were born in January? 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20. Uh, how many boys were born in January? Okay. 100. 100. Very good. So the answer here is 100. So it was to 100. Okay. 100 boys. Okay. In January, 100 boys. Very good. How about in February? February, how many boys? 16. 16 or 60? 20. You can unmute your microphone. You can unmute your microphone. Okay. So here, 20 plus 20 plus 20 is equals to 60. Uh, 60. How about in March? How about in March? 
How many pupils or uh, boys were born? One hundred. One hundred and sixty. Okay, one hundred and sixty. So t twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred, one hundred twenty, one hundred forty, one hundred sixty. Very good. Okay, so you will just count numbers by twenty. Okay, count numbers by. 20. Now, here we go. So, you can see it there that based on the pictogram, we know that in January, there are 100 boys. In February, there are 60 boys. In total, all of them, all of them from January to June. January, February, March, April, May, June. Oh, how many, how many boys? All together, all together. There are, if we will add them all together, there are total of 760 boys, okay? From June to, uh, from January to month of June, okay? Now here, what is the difference, the number of boys born in the month of May and June. In May, there are 140. In June, there are 120. When we say difference, okay, this word difference. If you see this word difference, you have to use minus. Okay, you have to use minus sign. Okay, if you see the word total, total, you have to use plus. Okay, you don't forget this one. Total, use Plus, okay? If difference, use minus, okay? Lop, minus, okay? Now you know it already. Now allow me to erase this one, okay? I will erase it. And then we will proceed on page 205 here. Now, one house, one house is equals to how many houses? Huh? Each picture of the house represents how many pictures, how many houses? 50 houses. You can see it here, 50 houses. Okay. So 100. one picture, 50. Another picture, 50. So in Eco City here, in Eco City, that is uh, 50 plus another 50 plus another 50. So there are. How many in Eco City? Um, in Eco City, how many houses? 150. 150, very good. How about here in Serenia? This one is 50. Another 50. Another 50. Ah, uh, Rita, Rita. 200. 200. Okay, very good. Now let us answer your book. Okay, let us answer your book. Now here, in your book, you can see here that Eco City, okay, this one, Eco City has 150 houses. Now question, what houses for rent that has 200 houses? What city? What city? It is Serenia City. Serenia City has 200 houses. Okay. Serenia City. Okay. Finish. Very good. Pencils up. Pencils up. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Om. Um, in Park Villa, how many houses for rent are there? Park Villa here, Park Villa, how many houses? 250. Okay, very good. <laughs> okay, in Park Villa, there are 200 and 
50 because there are five. So 50 plus 50 plus 50 plus 50 plus 50. Hasip, long loy, long loy, hasip, long loy, long loy, hasip. 50, 100, 150, 200, 200, 50. Very good. How about in um, Rose Garden? 100. 100 houses for rent in Rose Garden. How about in Crystal Garden? Crystal Garden. How about in Crystal Garden? How many houses for rent in Crystal Garden? Hmm? There are six houses. 300. Okay, very good. So in Crystal Garden, there are 300 houses for rent. Okay. In Crystal Garden, there are 300 houses for rent. Okay. Now here, total. When we say total, we need to use plus sign. So you have to add. 150 plus 200 plus 250. Ah, now what is the total? What is your answer here? Again? 1,000. Okay, very good. So the total is 1,000 houses. Very good. 1,000 houses for rent, okay, in month of January. Okay, here we go. Okay, now next year you will draw. Okay, you will draw a pictogram based on the data below. Let's see here. You can see here in Monday there are 800, right? You can see this one on page 206. 206. Now here in Monday, 800. Tuesday, 700. Wednesday, 900. In Thursday, 600. Friday, 1,100, right? Now, how to draw? Now, step number one, when you draw a pictograms, first, you pick a symbol or picture that accurately represents your item. See here, you can see here, it's about Bottles of jam, right? So decide the number of bottles of jam, and then the symbol represents one bottle. Okay, you can see here one bottle represents 100 bottles of jam. Okay, one bottle. So here in Monday, 800, right? So how many bottles you need? So only eight bottles. Okay, eight symbols. So 100. 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. So eight bottles is equals to 800. In Tuesday, you can see here seven, 700, right? In Wednesday, you can see here nine. Ah, nine means 900. Six, ah, six, 600, 11. What is this? 1100? <laughs> 1100. Okay? 1100. Now, let's try to answer here in your book page 1207. Okay? 207. Here, you can see here the pictogram below shows the number of candies received by four. Pupils, we say pupils, these are the kids, okay, students. Other name of uh, use for students is called pupils, okay, pupils. You can see here, pupils. So the name of the pupils are Jesse, Kim, Pim, and Rita. Ah, no, no, it's not Rita. <laughs> this is Hannah. <laughs> this is Hannah. Again, Jesse, Kim. Pim and Hannah. So always remember, you will see here, one picture of candy is equals to 20 candies, okay? Don't forget this one when you look at. Each picture of the candy here represents 20 candies, okay? Now, we will answer your book. Let us answer your book here, okay? Now, page 207, 
here. Who had 120 candies? What the name of the student that has 120 candies? Uh, do you know? What is the name of the student who has 120? 120 candies. What is the name of the student? Kim. Kim. Oh, what teacher you Kim. <laughs> Kim. Why? Because Kim has six candies, right? So six, 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 is equals to 120 candies. Here, who received the least number? Least number has means smallest number of candies. Least. No IT. So no IT. Ah, least. Ah. What's the name? Pim. Pim. Very good. Pim. The name of the student who received the least number of candies is Pim. Ah. How about here? Letter C. Greatest. Greatest. The keyword here is greatest. Ah. Uh, what's the name of the student? Jesse. Okay, very good. The name of the student is Jesse. Okay, very good, Jesse. Because you will look at the, the pictogram, you will see that Jesse has how many pictures are there? There are eight pictures, right? Eight pictures. So you count by two, 20. 20 plus 20 plus 20 up to 820s. And then you will multiply. Now, question in letter D. Uh, letter D. The question here is, how many candies did Jesse receive? Uh, how many candies does Jesse receive? Uh, how many candies? 150. 160. 160. Very good. 60. Okay, because, sorry, 60 candies. So you just multiply only 8 times 20 because Jesse has 8 candies, right? 8 candies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 times 20, 160. Very easy, right? Yeah, very easy. Now here, next one, next one. Uh, letter E, how many candies did Pim receive? Uh, Pim, how many candies for Pim? 120. 120. Pim, 120, are you sure? Pim, look at the picture there. There are only three pictures, okay? Try again. 60. 60. Okay, 60. It's okay, it's okay. Because there are three candies, so three times 20 is equals to 60 candies. Okay, very good. It's okay, Rita, it's okay. So you will just multiply the number of candies you can see there into 20. How about letter F? How many candies were there in total? Uh, you see again the word total here. You say total here, you have to add plus. Okay, plus. We say total, you have to... Plus, ah. go. So how many are there? How many candies? 160 plus 120 plus 60 plus 100. Ah, how many candies all together? <clears throat> 160 plus 120 plus 60 plus 100. Ah, what's your answer? Uh, what is your answer? Go, tell me your answers. 440. 440. Very good. Okay, so that's it. So 160 plus 120 plus 60 plus 100 is equals to 440. Candies. So that is the number or total number of candies. Okay. That is the total number of candies. Now, how many more candies did Jesse receive compared to number of candies received by Hannah? So Jesse and Hannah, we will compare. So as you can see there that Jesse received 160, right? 
and then Hannah received 100. So what is the difference here? If we will compare. So you can see here that Jesse has 60 more candies received than Hannah, if we will compare. So the answer in letter G is 60 candies. Jesse received 60 more candies compared to Hannah. Okay. Are you done? Okay. Now we will proceed to the next page 208 here. So the pictogram that you will see there in your book below, it shows the number of shirts sold from January, okay, from January to month of May. January to month of May, okay? January to month of May. Now, here we go. Look at the picture. Again, I want to remind you, look at here. Each picture, okay, each picture here, you can see here, each picture, it represents how many shirts? 50 shirts, okay? 50 shirts. One picture represents 50 shirts, okay? Now, we will answer the questions here. But before that, let me erase this one. It might appear in the next slide here. Okay. Here, letter A. How many shirts were sold in January? Ah, January. How many shirts? You count there. 50 by 50. 50 plus 50 250. plus 50. Okay. Letter A. Five shirts times 50 is equals to 250 shirts okay 250 shirts five times 50 is equals to 250 shirts okay very good now here this is the keyword here in letter b highest uh, highest means has the biggest number has the biggest number now which month achieved the highest sale of shirts? Which month? What month? Uh, what month? Month of January? Month of February? Month of March? Which month has the highest sale? January, February, March, April, May, or June? Uh, which month? Which month has the highest? Many shirts were April. sold. April. April. April has the highest sale of shirts. Okay, month of April. Let us see. What was the total number of shirts sold? Okay, in the five months, for the whole five months. So you will just add here total all together. All together, total, ah, total in five months, January, February, March, April, and May, all together. How many shirts? So if you will add them all, that is equals to? Ah, <laughs> ah, so 250. Plus 200 plus 100 plus 350 plus 300 is equals to 1,200 uh, 1, shirts all together. Okay. Okay. Now, here we go. Last one. The, the page uh, 209 is your homework. 209 is your homework. Okay. 209 is your homework. Okay, now let me erase this one first because we are running out of time. Because this is our last time. Next week, we don't have class. Letter D, 450 shirts in January and February. 250 plus 200. Okay, 250 plus 200. In uh, letter E, what is the difference April and May? It's only 50 shirts. Okay, 50 shirts. And letter F, how many more shirts were sold in January than in March? 
Now, how many shirts or what is the difference? Uh, now, if you will, if you will uh, use here, the, you will just uh, subtract or minus 250 in January and then uh, 100 shirts in March. So there are 150 more shirts were sold in January. Okay. There were 150 more shirts were sold in January. Okay, pencils up. So that when you watch the video, you will not forget that you will have a homework. So for your homework, pages 203, 209, and 211. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. So this is your homework. Okay, 209, 211, and 203. Okay, thanks for watching and listening. God bless everyone. See you. Thank you.